Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll probably uh, share or talk about uh, a plan that I have that I want to do with FFmpeg. Now, I if you if you are following my channel, I'm sure you know that uh, I use FF, FFmpeg for uh, making videos and uh, I have also shown in the past how to use FFmpeg. In fact, the same script that I used to make a video that I'm up uploading it to YouTube, I can use the same script to stream online and uh, when you when it comes to streaming uh, you can of course uh, do a lot of wonderful things you can actually share your share your desktop or you can also uh, share uh, uh, or make this stream that will uh, show a couple of images or basically it will browse the files that you may have in our directory and based on that particular uh, uh, set of images you can actually then uh, also loop a video or not really a video but a, but an audio that can run in the background so if you go to my channel I, i'll show you what i what i mean so if you go to my channel blackberry boy and if you go to one of my i think i need to go to the okay let me just let me just search for blackberry boy let us see if you are able to find it okay so let us take a look at a uh, cup like one of my live stream that i want to show you so uploads past live streams and i believe the live stream that i wanted to show you is this one so basically if you look at this video i'll probably reduce or basically mute this so if you look at this particular uh, video what is happening here is there, there is an image that is uh, of course in the background and the image is of course you know moving and at the same time uh, i also wrote a script a simple shell script that will actually uh, generate uh, or parse a text file and it will look for uh, the text in the text file and it will look for uh, one line then another line and it can actually look at those lines and then uh, print the line on the screen so basically you know in the stream uh, when i when i say screen i am talking about the stream so basically what i was doing in that particular uh, stream i was actually uh, showing and uh, displaying some questions so basically i have uh, a set of questions that uh, i was actually streaming and i think i have the hat on this channel not really my blackberry i mean i have that on uh, my ravi sagar channel not really this channel so let me go to my channel on the other uh, i mean one of my other channel which is ravi sagar where i make uh, videos on jira and if i look at the stream which i did i believe a few months back so okay so this particular video it is 3 hour 41 uh, minute and uh, if you look here there are questions on the screen that are actually coming and then um, there is a one line and there is another line and so on and this is of course you know happening okay so now you can see the first option then the next option will come here and then one more option will come here and then it will also show the correct answer so basically this is this information is coming from a text file and that uh, text file is uh, actually uh, a simple file which uh, you know you can um, build yourself now what i wanted to show you today is uh, how you can use fmpeg to make videos for youtube uh, without uh, much manual intervention so all you need to do you need to basically first think about what you need to do about uh, this video and uh, i have a lot of content online i have a lot of articles i have a lot of blogs and i make uh, i use org mode to keep track of my notes and usually my preference is always to have those notes or my content is always in text format so basically i have this text file or lot of text files that i can use to generate uh, videos and there are sites that can do it for you by the way for example i i i know about this site called in video and if i open uh, one of the video that uh, can actually uh, show you uh, this uh, video uh with some text so let, let me you know just load it up for you and uh, when i was looking at this particular site i thought this is fine this is great but uh, we can do the same thing using uh, our own uh, 
FFM pack. So if you look at the video, let me just do preview all and uh, I will show you what I mean. And uh, this is something that, you know, I believe anyone can use if uh, they have uh, FFM pack and they are willing to uh, to Okay, so I think the, the the audio was a bit too loud, but I think uh, you, you you understand what I'm trying to say here. So, so there is so there is some music and there is a text on the screen and in the background there is a video. Now in my case, of course, it is a bit simple as compared to this. I do have a few images that are always looping. So imagine that you have a folder of images and uh, you also have uh, this uh, text file that is actually your content so using the same script that uh, you know i used here where i'm basically streaming i can actually make a video because the good thing about ffmpeg is that uh, when you are looking at uh, any output in the script i mean at the very end for example uh, the script that i use for uh, making a video uh, is this one but if i want to also stream i can just change this last line to this hyphen f flv and i can pass my youtube uh, uh, url and you know there is a streaming rtm uh, url that you can pass with your key and it will actually stream so i'm not thinking of making these uh, videos uh, continuous videos that will be based on uh, the content that i already have somewhere but uh, talking about images what i was thinking is that uh, using ffmpeg you can also based on those uh, based on a text file so for example if i have a blog let me open one of one of the blog posts that i wrote recently for example if uh, i show you this blog post where i am talking about launching script enough for gr training in uk and india so on this particular post you will find that i have of course you know one paragraph and uh, i have you know few lines now what i can do is i can uh, look at this uh, paragraph and i can write a script to also generate the image that uh, can be used in the background and to generate the images i already have a script that i can use where i can you know pass in some uh, information or even if i don't want to generate the images i can have uh, maybe few images that will always you know loop in the background but the text can uh, come from this particular uh, article i mean because you're talking about uh, text files i mean the script can also you know read the information from uh, this online url but of course i prefer something where i don't have to do something online so this is my plan what i will do is i will of course uh, uh, share the script i already have a script which i tried and it works really well and i think i'll probably uh, improve it further so that uh, you can actually use it uh, yourself without uh, much help i mean that is the whole point of uh, sharing the script for example if you look at this script if you copy the script and if you paste it most likely it will work and there is no i mean of course there are a few things that uh, you might need to change but uh, uh, the main command is this one which is of course uh, looking at a few things like uh, your mic information for example if i'm talking to you right now i'm using a mic and i'm also using this webcam so you have to sometimes make sure i mean you, you can actually look at this information using some commands for example for my mic I can actually look at, uh, I can use this command called a record hyphen L and it will print all the available mics that I have on the computer, on this laptop. But I just want to focus on uh, the mic from a company called Samsung, which is uh, this one, this mic here. But at the same time, you can also do something similar for your uh, webcam if you want. For, for webcam, of course, uh, I'm not really using the script to show my webcam. I simply have this webcam coming on the screen using MPV and I'm using MPV because I want to control the window. I want to change the size. I want to sometimes get rid of my beautiful face. But uh, the whole idea here is that uh, uh, I don't really want to rely on any online service to do something that I can do uh, myself using my own script. And by the way, this particular service in video, in video, uh, I think it is AI based. So it will also or it can also look at the text and it will also generate the images in the background based on uh, what you have in the text. For example, right now we are talking about uh, advanced roadmaps. 
and it will actually bring up or show you this image of a roadmap. I guess you can do something similar with FFmpeg as well. I mean, if you're writing a script, uh, you can all, always, you know, based on the keywords, you can pull in some images from your own local database or maybe you have a directory where you have maybe 500 images. I hope copyright free images and based on, uh, you know, these uh, uh, keywords, you can actually use the meta information or, you know, maybe the file name of those images and use those images uh, in your script. I'm not really sure whether that will be super fast, but uh, at least you can do it. And uh, I I'm feeling good about it because I, I, I already have a working script with me where I can actually use uh, things like a couple of images. Uh, I mean, by the way, I already have a lot of images that I can use. I, I make a lot of, you know, I, I do a lot of graphic designing for my own personal pleasure. And I also have this comics of mine that I, I I try to, you know, make once in a while. So, you know, I, I have a lot of the graphics with me. And, I'm, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to basically use these resources of mine to make more online resources for everyone. For example, if I'm making a video on something, of course, I don't, I don't really waste your time. Maybe I want to, but uh, the idea here is that uh, if uh, if if I can do these things automatically, I don't have to hire uh, people for doing marketing for me. I can just uh, write a script that will do these uh, video creations. I mean, I imagine that I can create maybe, maybe I mean, I, I'm not really sure about the number, but because it is a script, and if I'm talking about uh, uh, a text-based because I have a lot of articles already, I just need to pass that pass that information to the script, and the script will actually generate the video for me, which of course I can upload on YouTube. So I'm actually saving a lot of time, and I'm uh, you know also not really hiring uh, someone to do it for me. So that is the wonderful thing about uh, you know Linux-based uh, utilities or terminal-based utilities where you can uh, connect things together. And I'm, of course, doing my bit by sharing this knowledge, this information. And uh, hopefully, if you want to do something similar, then I hope uh, my scripts will help you. So that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.